Hello students, welcome to class PM. We are discussing about NMR spectroscopy. And the last class we have discussed that what kind of nuclear spin will be there and those I values, MI values we have seen in the last class. In today's class we are going to see, uh, discuss about nuclear spin. So we know that like electrons, nucleus will also have spin and that is having clockwise spin, anti-clockwise spin. So based on which kind of spin it is having north and south pole and nucleus is acting like a tiny magnet. That what we already discussed. A nucleus will have two types of spins, so clockwise spin, anti-clockwise spin and their orientations also different. So there is a difference between orientation and the spin. Okay, oh, see, a nucleus is rotating on its own axis, that is spin. And the nucleus is rotating its own axis in different directions, that is orientation. Orientations also we have discussed in the last class. Now this here, when already we have discussed the nucleus is uh, made up of protons and the neutrons. Again these protons and neutrons are composed of quarks, that what we have already discussed. Now here, this particular nucleus, for example we are taking this nucleus. Uh, nucleus as a composite of protons. Okay, this is a proton spin and this is another proton spin. Okay, so in the clockwise, in the anti-clockwise rotation, the thumb is showing upward direction. This is our north and this is our south. And this is a uh, clockwise rotation. So our thumb is showing down so that it is north and this is south. When two protons having spin at the same position, what happens? This north and south pole, south and north pole will attract each other. So they will come closer and the magnetic field of this proton and the magnetic field of this proton will cancel each other. Once again, I am repeating, both the protons, both, these are protons, both the protons are having magnetic field and this magnetic field, this north of this proton and south of proton will cancel each other and south north will cancel each other. So that this is the way when protons combine in even number, if there is number of protons in even number, means pairing, when protons pairing takes place, the magnetic field of one proton and magnetic field of another its pairing proton will cancel each other. Same thing happens with the neutron too. Don't think about the neutron is a neutral charge. We have discussed in the last class. Even though neutron is electrically neutral, but it is not neutral because of absence of charge. It is neutral because of the charges will cancel each other. The total charge will be zero. That's why it is neutral. But quarks are having the charge. Those quarks which are making neutron are having charge. That's why they act like a magnet and that is producing a overall uh, magnetic field in that. Same way, when two neutrons pairs, what happens? Both magnet, both the magnetic fields of both the neutrons will cancel each other. That's why when even number of protons and even number of neutrons are present, there will not be any resultant magnetic field. Based on this concept, some nuclei are NMR active, some are inactive. We will see here now. See, when number of protons and the number of neutrons are there in the even number like 2, 2, 4, 4, 5, 5. We have seen the examples of carbon and oxygen and sulfur. In the carbon, there are 6 protons and the C612, uh, 6, 6, 6 protons and 6 neutrons. In the oxygen, 8, 16, 8 protons and 8 neutrons. And in the sulfur, 16, 32, there are 16 protons and 16. So, number of protons are, see here, 16 protons, 16 neutrons. Here, 8, 8 are pairing. Here also, 8, 8 are pairing. So, they will cancel each other. In that case, what happens? The resultant magnetic field will be zero and it will not have any interaction with the external magnetic field. That's why its I value is zero. Next one is even odd. Number of protons are even, number of neutrons are odd. We can see the example C613. In the C613, number of protons are 6, which are even in number, number of neutrons are 7, which are odd in number. In that case, it will have I values like 1 by 2, 3 by 2, 5 by 2, such values we can see. And one more example, you can see the oxygen 1617. 
oxygen 16 also there are 16 protons and 17 neutrons so number of protons are in even number of neutrons are odd another type is odd and even number of protons are odd but number of neutrons are even further we can see the examples see here we can see that here phosphorus 15 31 there are 15 protons and 16 neutrons odd number of protons even number of neutrons and we have fluorine 919 odd number of protons 9 and even number of neutrons that is 10 and there is a chlorine 1735 there are 17 proteins and 18 uh, neutrons such are all such nucleus also they are nmr active and this last one odd odd type in the odd odd type we have examples h1 2 and nitrogen 7 14 7 protons and 7 neutrons both are odd numbers in that case they are also nmr active only when even even in this case when even number of protons and even number of neutrons are present in a particular nucleus then such nucleus will not have any interaction with the external magnetic field so that what happens their i value will get zero and you will not see any absorption either i hope you understood this uh, here this hydrogen if you take a speciality of hydrogen h11 h12 both the isotopes here number of protons are one number of neutrons are zero here number of protons are one number of neutrons are one and then both the isotopes are nmr active hydrogen 11 hydrogen 12 both the isotopes are nmr active that's why this is also called uh, whenever we will considering a hydrogen nucleus for our studying nmr spectroscope in the nmr spectroscopy then we call that one is a proton magnetic resonance spectroscopy because here the proton plays the crucial role i hope you understood and now the next one point why i is equal to zero or nmr inactive some nucleus which are some nuclei which are having i value zero i is what spin quantum number already we have discussed nuclei which are having their spin quantum number zero or nmr inactive why if zero it is inactive but why then that portion we will see in our further class